coach from training. Uh, I was focused on uh, on training, so we do apologize for the couple of minutes, three minutes that you were late coming into this press right. conference, and we do appreciate your patience uh, with us. Um, just before we start, to remind everybody, uh, if you're recording or you're using multiple devices, to please put one of them on silent, just to avoid uh, microphones uh, giving feedback, because there is a Rolando Pirates versus uh, Kaiser Chiefs MTN8 uh, first leg semi-final uh, scheduled for Orlando Stadium this coming Saturday, 31st October, uh, 1500 kickoff. Coach, <laughs> welcome. Um, welcome. I start with the opening question, Coach. If you can just give us um, understanding that you just had a match tomorrow. I mean, sorry, yesterday. If you can just give us uh, um, your thoughts on the upcoming match, how the preparations going going into this derby. Yeah, yesterday match was uh, result was uh, not enough for us and um, the performance also. Uh, first half I was not happy. In the second half. Uh, uh, we have to demonstrate what we what we do what, and what we can. Uh, but the focus is now on the, on a Saturday game. It's a big game. I know it for the supporters, uh, for the clubs, also. And um, yeah, we we are have now a, a recovery day. It's important we bring the player back to to 100 percent. And then um, yeah, tomorrow we have the focus for the game Kaiser Chiefs. We'll now take uh, questions. Members of the media, if anyone has a question, please uh, go ahead and ask. Hi, Coach. Uh, Tashrik from Sport24. Uh, following last night's match and last night's result, um, will there be a few changes tactically uh, as well as in the starting level going forward uh, for yourself? And bearing in mind it's, it's such a big match coming this Saturday, the first of two matches against Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates rivals? Yeah, uh, the first question, yes, we have to change a little bit in part of uh, conditionings. That's, um, you know, we have uh, a lot of games for us um, and we have uh, behind us games and it's important. We have uh, players on the field, they have the conditionings um, for 90 minutes or for more, whatever we have to play. And yeah, we, I know it's a big game, Kaiser Chiefs, and uh, we search now the players, uh, what is 100% fit for, uh, for the game. It's uh, 100% in the focus. That's the, the reason what we find the next, the next days. Next question. Do you have any further questions for the coach? Um, yeah, sorry, can I ask a question? Uh, Jose here from Football Conversations. Um, coach, um, the last two results in the league have only yielded um, draws. Does this match for you coming so early, the Soweto Derby, um, give you a chance maybe to reinvigorate the team a bit just to, yeah, just to uh, revitalize the team? Because um, obviously, most of the fans have been quite um, disappointed with the last two results. Um, apart from your opening day, opening day game with uh, Cape Town City in the MTN quarterfinals, uh, the last two results have just been draws. So, does this give you a chance, maybe, to to just re-energize the team um, heading into heading into this massive encounter? Thanks. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm agree with you. I think uh, the game comes to the right time. We have uh, now a derby. A derby is always a special game. Uh, we know Kaiser Chief uh, have a, a strong team, a good team, good quality in the in the squad. Also, they have uh, a, a top coach. Uh, he have a lot of experience. He win titles in this in this country. He lead uh, last last year uh, a top team. Yeah, he fight last season also for. For the for the title, yeah, he was close to the title, and um, yeah, he know my players exactly. A lot of or some players, he was in the last season uh, in in his team, and uh, he know the players, he know the style, um, and now it's maybe the time for for our team for so derby. We we have in in yeah, we have we have uh, what what to lose, but we have nothing to lose. The, 
Kaiser Chiefs. He was uh, a long time last last season with the same squad uh, in the in the first place in the league, and um, they're the favorite. But we we have another pressure now because in the in the in the game now without pressure, that's uh, maybe advantage a little bit. We have not the supporters what give us so like the. Um, yeah, the self-confidence in, 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 in not good times, I explained this always uh, in, the, in the last uh, season. Uh, I'm happy about the supporters. They give us always in difficult times in the game uh, a support and this is important for, for our players. But now we have a game without supporters and um, maybe it's, it's a point where we come back to the normal performance than we have in the last two games. You say it right, not the uh, the best results. We have points, but not enough uh, what we want, and uh, we have not the best performance. About uh, 90 minutes. We have yeah, 45 minutes. Yes, we can discuss. It's good, but the other 45 minutes, it's not enough for three points, and it's the reason what we have to work quick on, on more minutes than 45. We we coming closer to the to the performance, and then we get good results. And maybe it's a a point uh, or it's a game now, like Kaiser Chiefs. We we can use this. Do you have a follow-up question for the coach? Hi, coach. Um, Dalmania from Soccer at Luma. Yesterday, in your post-match press, uh, you mentioned that um, Tabang Munare could feature for about uh, 45 minutes. His, his fitness could see him play 45 minutes. Is there any possibility that we could see him play this weekend? Yeah, I hope. Uh, normally, the reason was we give him minutes, but you understand, or maybe all understand, when we need goals, then it's better we bring an offense player in. And uh, I hope we have now uh, we have now two days. Today was the training session with him. He made a very good performance. Uh, but you, you said it before, the conditioning is in a moment, so 45 minutes. And maybe it's an option for the starting lineup, or maybe it's then. I hope so. Then, when it's not a starter, then I hope we come. We have to a chance. We we, we bring it in. Then we know the quality um, from from Monare, and uh, I hope we can use it. Next question. Uh, from from the Southern. Coach, uh, you have you've read the. Uh, just that is a way to type before, but your Chiefs counterpart, uh, Kevin Hunt, hasn't tested this way to type before. This game is his first way to type. Do you think maybe that gives you a little bit of advantage going to this one? Yeah. Can you please repeat the question? Sorry, for the, coach? the connect was not so good. I, I don't understand. Sorry. Please, please repeat. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, yes, so it's always better now. But okay, uh, we try it. Yeah, yeah, I, I say you, you've already tested Soweto Tapi before, but your, your, your Chiefs counterpart, uh, Kevin Hunt, has not tested this, this, this kind of a game before. Do you think maybe that gives you as, uh, an advantage to say that you, you've already played in the, in the Tapi before? Um, yeah, first, first uh, Kaiser Chiefs have an advantage, then, then they have more, uh, one, one day more rest. And uh, um, the, other, the other thing is. Uh, I think uh, he was asking if uh, you've. Um, he was saying that um, it's Kevin Hunt's first time around playing in the derby, a uh, coaching in the derby, ah, whereas you've that. coached okay. in the derby before. So, do you feel that gives you an advantage over him? Um, I think it's a it's a neutral zone for both. Uh, we have a, a new squad with uh, a, a very very good game in the last in the last uh, game day, and um, yeah, he's three for. For other things, but he have a lot of games in this country, and he know exactly what is a derby. He's not a, a a coach would have not experience. He have a lot of experience. Maybe he he have maybe not Kaiser Chiefs against against uh, all uh, the Parrots, but he have maybe maybe other derbies in his life, and uh, he have a lot of experience. I think nobody have an advantage about the, the experience. It's it's a game day. Um, in so special games, it's it's important. The players uh, have the hundred percent focus and the self confidence and the game plan have have working that is the things what we have to find as a coach uh, and um, yeah and then it's always in the game uh, important they, uh, the players 
implement this what we want as a coach. Next question. Coach, yes, Coach A is Nati from NGFM in Pulukwan. I just, I mean, I just wanted to ask: Do you do you go all out, or you head to this game with the second leg at the back of your mind? Yeah. Can you please repeat your question? Yes, I'm saying: Do you go all out on Saturday, or you go? Yes, you can. You can answer, Coach. Yeah, we have to. The strategy going into this uh, uh, game on Saturday, the first leg, uh, is it uh, you? It's a, a must win uh, so that you have the advantage going into the second leg, or are you looking at uh, the two games um, as as uh, one as one long game. game, as one game? Yeah, we have we have we have maybe the advantages in this game. We have also we have to focus all games. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, first, it's always important now the next game and the next game is Saturday against Kaiser Chiefs. This is the focus and uh, important is we get a good result for us. Then we have maybe uh, a better chance for us Then we have then not the pressure. We have not the pressure when we win the game and we have a good chance. Um, we, we make a clean sheet maybe. Then it's important for us. It's the focus. Um, on us and then we have an advantage when we have a good game for us and uh, then comes the Wednesday game and then comes the, the next game and uh, I saw it we need we need we want we need three points and uh, that's important for us the other things comes uh, Coach Tepon Solingen from the Citizen uh, how serious is Gabba's uh, groin injury is he available mm -hmm. for Saturday for game a good question they they work on it uh, they have a scan but i come directly from the training field sorry i can now not answer now this this questions i i speak with my medicals the doctor and then i get the information uh, sorry about this i hope it's 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 good but yesterday was not so after the game and uh, now we hope now it's better and we have uh, a chance we can use him next question Hi, coach. Hi. It's it's Saz here at uh, Arena Holdings. Uh, are you worried about your scoring rate? I mean, you've only scored three three goals in three matches, and now there is a big worry about your top striker, Um Yeah, yeah, but we, we have asked, the question is of Bango. We we lose the, the, the top scorer. Can you please repeat your question? The question is, is the coach worried about the, the team scoring rate, uh, having scored only three goals in three matches and now having problem of, of maybe playing without your top striker, Mango? Yeah, first, Mango is a top striker and it's always bad when we, when we lost a top striker. But we have other team, team players, they can also score. You, you watched maybe yesterday the, the game, we have uh, chances what we have to score. Yeah, um, La Passa was comes in, Terence comes in, Pule have chances. We have players they can score, and uh, uh, I hope we have Gaba, but uh, we have also other players and uh, they can score. Uh, Coach Vela here. Um, maybe just to also build up uh, from the question, um, um, um there's been. Uh, this talk that um, since you came, um, you managed to 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 work on the def defensive organization of the team. Um, they've considered very few number of goals. Um, but if you look from the bubble and how you are even starting now, um, maybe you are not as clinical uh, up front uh, in, in, in terms of scoring goals. What is missing there um, to balance between the two? Good question. Yes, we we have to find more. The final third in the first game in the Liga first game was was a problem. We have not the final third. We becomes not in the final third. But yesterday you saw it in the second half. We comes more and more in the final third. But then you need the luck. And they say always when you then it doesn't work or you don't work. Um, not 90 minutes. Only 45 minutes, then you have another chance you can win a game. And you see, it, you saw it last last, last game yesterday. Um, I don't know. You you maybe you have the exact dates. I have it 
uh, in the in the I watched the TV yesterday, uh, the, the clips yesterday, or the, the game, and and you see it's possible we can we can score easy, yeah. But then you you need the, the luck or then the centimeters, yeah, the passes, balls uh, is not going over the line, and this is then the things what you need in in so games uh, when you struggle in the first half. Um, but I'm I have not fear. Uh, I know I trust the players. I believe on the players. We have a lot of players now new. They come to us. We change the players now. We have a, a little bit in the in, works in the conditioning with the players, with the new players. We have also worked with the structure, what we want in the in the game, and then it's coming. I know it. It's coming. We'll take the final three questions. Uh, hi, can I go? Yeah. Uh, coach, um, after the, your first three games, um, from your own perspective and being with the squad and with the transfer window still open for the next month, uh, are you happy with uh, the current crop of players that you're having? Uh, is, is there a few players that you perhaps want to bring in? Yeah, I, I, th I think we have, we have a good quality in the squad and we, we as a coach, we have now the the works with the players, we improve exactly what we want. And this is the point what we would become the first time with the players. We can not, um, uh, we have not enough, enough time for, we can work with the players. Uh, then there was uh, injured. Uh, and, and now in the last uh, one and a half or two weeks, we can more works. But you see the training session is not always possible or not so intensely possible. Then we have a lot of games in the, in the row. And that is the things what it's what we have a, a little bit to have to manage, uh, but it's not easy. Then, when the when the fever break is coming, we have more time for these players. We can improve more on conditioning aspect. And now it's that uh, the, the target we bring in closer and closer from minutes to minutes. He can more play on minutes from from game to day, uh, from game to game, or from from training session to training session. That's the target what we have. But. Uh, I have a good squad. I trust and I believe on the squad. And now it's our job. We can. We have to improve the the players quick. Next question. Um, coach, Pendulo uh, Sitole from Fantana. Um, coach, the last time you faced um, Coach Gavin Hahn, he was with uh, the now defunct Pedras Reds, and he managed to beat you in the dying minutes of the game. And now you have some of the players that played under him at that time. Do you think that gives him an advantage to outsmart you coming into this game? Um, good question. Thank you for this. Yes, I saw it in the in the first uh, minutes. Yes, it's, he know the player exactly. But um, it's an advantage or not advantage is not it's not a point for me. Important for me is we we have our structure. We get the structure in what we want. That it's our job. Yes, I think we know all. He know the the, the players exactly, but um, he knows my player. What he have not before, also exactly. He is a long time in this country. He works a lot of games with uh, different players, and he know all players in the league. And um, important is for me, we we go to to our team and uh, the players. What we have from him or from Wits, uh, we improve the players exactly in our system. And then he can do what he wants. Then he know the players have the quality. They can score or they can good defending about his team. Final question. Do you have any takers on the final question? Question going once, going twice. And okay, uh, maybe um, if if I can just uh, come back for the final question. Um, so I've noticed that uh, you've been um, going with uh, different starting lineups um, in in your first uh, three matches. How long do you take it to take you um, to have um, a, a starting eleven? Um, and, and, and also maybe if I can just go back um, to, to last night, was it informed by the opposition, but, or maybe you were also thinking ahead to Saturday? 
Um, both, both is possible. Um, yes, first is always, uh, I, I saw it again, I saw it in the first uh, minutes, we have players and now they have a quality and the players, they need minutes. We have players, they have not the conditioning in the moment for 100%, but this game, see, give him the conditionings. And that's the reason what we, what we think about now. And um, the players need the minutes. And also we have a, a, a wide, a, a wit squad and uh, with, with good qualities. And when you have an opponent and one player, it's better for this opponent than, than we use this player. This is the, the reason what we want as a coach. Yeah, you, you have special uh, positions or you have position with special players, but it's a little different in this position. And this is the advantage what we can have in the, in the future. That's the, the things what we want and what we work on. On that note, we've come to the conclusion of the press conference. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the media, for your participation. Uh, Coach, thank you again for your time. And uh, we'll catch you next time on on Saturday Pretty. for the Derby match press conference. I tell you. <laughs>